The Good Dinosaur is in theaters now, and it operates on a pretty fun premise. What if the KT asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs just missed Earth, and the dinosaurs had lived on a co cohabitating with mm -hmm. humans? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson has hypothesized what this could possibly be like. Our mammal ancestors that were running underfoot avoiding becoming hors d'oeuvres by T-Rex, probably would have stayed just that way. Had they gotten much bigger, you become a much bigger meal for the carnivorous dinosaurs that were ruling the Earth. So you, what you really had to do was remove the dinosaurs from the ecosystem. That prize open an ecological niche, enabling our mammal ancestors to aspire to become something more than just the rodents that they were of the day. But imagine though, if the dinosaurs were localized to one landmass, and we had our mammal ancestors on another landmass, it's possible you could have dinosaurs continuing and then mammals evolving to become humans. Uh, but then his theory goes on to say, um, but uh, then we would go visit the dinosaurs and possibly perish and be eaten by them. You mean it wouldn't be like Jurassic Park? No, well, it would be like Jurassic Park, you know? <laughs> Hold on to your butts because we would be eaten, uh, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm. I have my own theories myself. I mean, Let's this is them. an interesting movie to look at and this theory that this, uh, mm -hmm. these two different you know, the dinosaurs never went extinct, um, which takes it, I'm not really sure at what point in history, you know, which period, which era this takes place. It actually takes place, I, I've seen this movie, and by the way, this movie is great and, and, and lovely, and I actually thought it was the better of the Pixar movies released this year um, than Inside Out. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm throwing <laughs> it out there. But anyways, uh, um, so, so in, in the movie, this spoilers, it's very minor spoilers, but spoilers. Um, we all see the asteroid doesn't hit the Earth, and then it flashes and it says several million years later. Okay. So I guess the idea is that it's somewhere around now-ish. Really? Yeah, but yeah, isn't yeah. Spot a Neanderthal? He is. He is. Mm. You just have to go with it. You just have to go with it. Mm. Alternate prehistory is confusing to but me. But the movie is charming besides its science inaccuracies. But I think the thing that was more interesting about Neil deGrasse Tyson would be, why wouldn't the dinosaurs involved too? That's what I was actually going to get to. And we get, get a to. dinosaur city. Because we have something, I, the movie, it certainly looks charming, mm -hmm. you know for sure. But there's, a, there's something called uh, stasis versus punctuated equilibrium, which is when a species would stay basically the same until something happens mm -hmm. to cause uh, an evolutionary jolt or surge. Um, like when the humans come over and try to make a theme park out of your home. Yeah. That's what I would do. Uh, but basically, so when we look at the evolution of dinosaurs, the T-Rex as we recognize it was only, you know, in that recognizable state for about two million years. That's a very long time, but this is 65 million years we're mm. talking about. Who's to say that the feathers, the scales, the teeth would all be in the same place? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps they had a could evolve in other ways. Uh, you know, you, you could imagine a fantastical, uh, hyper-evolved, intelligent dinosaur, if you like, like a dinosaur city. Dinosaur city, um, dinosaurs and spaceships. I mean, we have uh, certain birds from the Corvidae family. They're very intelligent. And if we look further back in history, 135 million years ago, um, million years ago? Yeah, 135 million years ago, <laughs> just making sure in my notes, uh, we have the Allosaurus, which was the apex predator at the time. And the T-Rex was like a middling little, like... Yeah, not as powerful. Like yep. a, a weak little weak sauce dinosaur that wasn't really there yet, <laughs> but it, it evolved. Yeah, that's how I talk. <laughs> that it evolved over time, mm -hmm. millions of years to change and then eventually become this major predator. You know, so... Would this be the same? Would I, I think we're in a, this stage of stasis, and then maybe a little bit inaccurate if we consider the uh, the feather situation. Well, I will say that in the Good Dinosaur, the dinosaurs, some of the dinosaurs are farmers, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's already inaccurate. <laughs> you know? Okay, so maybe you can go down your intelligent human-like. Yeah. Personification. Yeah, and and the humans are still very much cavemen in this movie. They're and they're they're very dog-like, but like. I don't know. I, I honestly think that if the dinosaurs survived, we would not be here. Mm -hmm. I literally think humankind would not be here and that they would have gobbled us all up. What if we went by the two landmass theory? 
Oh, like so. It's so so Pangea got separated, and we're in North America, and they get Africa. We get our half. They get their half. Well, then... I think it all depends on who who gets to see the other one first. Mm -hmm. Because I think when that happens, so say like at the 1600s, and we get in our wooden ships, and Christopher Columbus hits Dinosaur Island. He goes, oh damn! And yeah, yeah. They're just like they're like we got to do what we got to get as many guns and go there and shoot them all. And I think if the dinosaurs get here first. They're like, oh man, they their skin makes great coats. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Leather faced dinosaurs. I don't like it. It would be a giant human dinosaur war, which is what the Good Dinosaur Two could be coming in theaters in two years. Oh uh, well, maybe I don't know. I mean, you know, but no. I feel like it has more of a heartwarming vibe. It to does. It, it does. It does. You know. But what a weird Ooh, left turn that would be. <laughs> Good Dinosaur Two: Dinosaur City at War. That's what I would write <laughs> if I had the opportunity. Uh, but yeah, it is interesting thing, thing to talk about. I would say, yeah, it's historically, prehistorically inaccurate. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we probably wouldn't have this level of stasis in the evolutionary uh, continuation. But it's a it's a heartwarming movie. Just let, let's let's exist in this logical mindset. Yes, it's a, it's actually the it's a great it's a great family holiday movie because mm -hmm. there's something in there for everybody. And there's a tone of the movie that I will not spoil here that they've kept out of all the trailers, which is quite impressive. Is it not tears? It, well, there there are tears. Okay. But but there's a there's a style. There's a style to this movie that they've kept out of every trailer. Interesting. Yeah. Well, some of you might know already. Uh, try to let us know without ruining it for everyone below in the comments. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do, though. You're, you're the boss of that. Uh, so please do that below, and please like and subscribe for more.